hope you all are well i'm kicking things off today as always by priming the eye area and to do that i'm using my urban decay eyeshadow primer potion i'm adding a few swipes of this across the eye area with the applicator and then i'm going to use my baby finger just to blend this product into the skin anywhere that i'll be adding product your primer will just help your products to apply to the eyes with ease adhere nicely and last all day long so today we're not using any eyeshadows or any brushes for that matter it's a great tutorial if you're traveling because minimal products. It's great if you're in a hurry, but you still want to add something to the eyes. It's great if you're a beginner. It's just a very handy little look to create. So I'm using pencils today um, because I want this look to be nice and wearable, a barely there look. Um, just a little depth to the eyes. So I'm using a brown pencil. I've added this to the lash line. You don't need to be neat with this step because we're going to be smudging it out in a moment. And I'm using a cotton bud actually to smudge the eyeliner out. Um, I'm running the tip of the bud along the line just to fade out the pencil. It's quick, it's cheap, it's easy. And I'm sure everybody has some Q-tips or cotton buds knocking about at home. They're a great um, multi-use product in my opinion. Um, but I'm adding another layer of that pencil now again. Again, you don't need to be precise because we are going to be smudging it out. You can be as messy as you like. But similar to eyeshadow, I'm going to build the pencil up in a few layers. Um, it's up to you how many you do, depending on how subtle or dramatic you want that look to be. You can also use just your finger to blend out the pencil. So I'm tapping my baby finger now along that pencil, patting and pressing and smudging that pencil all the way across the eye area from outer to inner corner. And using your finger is actually really beneficial because... You'll achieve the look actually way quicker and um, the warmth of your finger will just help to melt that product into the skin. So you can use a combination of both methods too. You can use the finger and then use the cotton bud, but it's up to you whichever you choose. The option's there. Next then what I'm doing is taking that brown liner once again. This time though I'm running the pencil on the back of my hand and I'm doing this to warm up the pencil. I'm dipping my finger into it now and I'm going to use this like an eyeshadow. So as you can see, when I dab my finger onto the back of my hand, I get a really nice light wash of color, which you can build upon. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to place my finger on the outer edge of the eye after dabbing it into that pencil. And I'm going to pull my finger upwards towards the crease and then at an angle towards the tail of the brow, like I would with my shadows when I want to try and elongate the shape of the eyes. And you do want to work quickly with this step because once the pencil sets, it, it won't budge. So once I'm happy with how that looks, for the final time, I'm going to add a little more liner to the lash line, just on the outer edge this time, and then soften it. So I'm running the pencil now down along the lower lash line, bringing it maybe about halfway across the lash line. I'm adding it right into the lash bed between the lashes and slightly below the lashes, avoiding that waterline. And then I'm going to smudge it out with a cotton bud, just because I can be a bit more precise with this than my finger. Sometimes I find it hard to do it with my finger because, you know, poking the eye and all that jazz but I am going to go in now with this pencil from wet and wild I'm firstly adding some of this around the tear duct of the eye padding it along there to add a bit of brightness to the area I'm moving then to underneath the arch of the brow I'm going to apply some there and then I'll fade towards the tip and tail of the brow and this is just a really lovely pencil to give a subtle highlight it's not too stark on the eyes so once I'm happy with how that looks, I'm then going to take a black liner. This is just from Physicians Formula and I'm running this along the tight line of the eye. So I'm just going to add a bit of depth to the lashes. It'll help to conceal the band of lashes that I'm going to be applying. If you weren't wearing lashes, which most people wouldn't if they were in a hurry, it'll just make your own lashes look that bit thicker and fuller. So applying on the tight line and also wriggling into the lash bed. For the lower waterline then, I'm adding that Wet n Wild pencil once again. It'll really open up the eyes, making them look bigger and brighter. It just makes it look like the waterline is a continuation of the eyeball itself. 
So I added lashes more so for the effect of the tutorial, but at this point you just need to add some mascara to your top and bottom lashes and you're good to go. So yeah, no brushes, no eyeshadows, just a nude brown and black pencil. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, picked up a few tips and found them helpful. If you did, please do let me know and if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see next, pop them below and I'll catch you all really soon.